What's up guys, Mike the Coder here. Today we are going to go over trailing zeros. So um, essentially is, is that given a number n and uh, we, our task is to calculate the number of trailing zeros in the factor of n factorial. So in this case we have 20 factorial and they have four trailing zeros. And when they mean by trailing zeros, it's the number of zeros at the end. So there's four zeros for these zeros at the end. That's why there's four trailing zeros. So our task is just to find, calculate the number of trailing zeros. Okay, so how do you do this problem? Um, essentially, is for, let's say n, n is equal to 20, given that um, and we need to find the number of trailing zeros of the factorial, factorial of n factorial. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so what we could do first is we could list out the factorial of 20 factorial. So n is equal to 20, and then 20 factorial, what is that? It's equal to 20 times 19 times 18 times 17 times 16 times 15 uh, times 14 times 13 times 12 times 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Okay. Okay. Now, um, to find trailing zeros, essentially, is that um, if we look at this, right? Trailing zeros, we need, we have like um, what does it mean by have a trail of zero, trailing zeros? Well, it means that essentially we have this last number of twenty factorial, right? All these values here. They have four zeros at the end. Four zeros at the end. So that means there's, um, if there's four zeros at the end. That means it could, uh, it's divisible by ten, right? You know, like it's divisible by ten. So if you were to divide this last number by ten, right, and you keep dividing it, um, you're gonna get four, right? Because there's four zeros at the end. Therefore, that because there's four zeros at the end, um, if you divide by ten repeatedly, right, we're gonna keep getting. Uh, we'll get four in the end, right? So because of this, um, it's, it, essentially what they're doing is they're dividing by ten, over and over and over again. Okay, so so if you have to zero 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 zero, there's ten, right? It's getting divided. So essentially, is that it's like ten to the fourth, right? Ten to the fourth, right? Um, maybe I should list out this number. I'll list out this number. Just to help you guys see what I'm talking about. So here, can I paste this? Oh, yeah, right, right here. I'll paste it here. Okay, so this number. So this number. This number, right? There's um, it's four trailing zeros. Four trailing zeros. It's four trailing zeros at the end. So there's these four zeros are at the end, right? So essentially what we could do is um, how we know how we count these number of trailing zeros, right? Is uh, you could keep dividing by 10, right? So we keep dividing 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. So essentially this, this, um, this number, this first number, this, this whole number, which I'm going to just copy this whole number down, this whole number. Well, I'll just copy this because uh, I'm too lazy to write it again. So copy this, this number is e multiplied so this this whole number that we have we're given here after calculating the factorial right is equal to this number multiplied 10 to the fourth right because there's one two three four four of them here so essentially what we're trying to find is like the number of uh, tens we could divide after number of tens we could divide after um after we calculate the factorial right so this factorial remember 20 factorial is equal to this number that they gave us right this factorial 20 factorial is equal to this giant number that they gave, gave us right so we just need to find how many times you could divide by 10 in order to get this number okay to get four so to do that um, what you could do essentially is that uh, 10 is basically just 2 times 5 right 10 is 2 times 5 right so if you want to look at this 10 is 2 times 5 um, we could do 2 times 5 and there is the fourth power Right, because this is 10 to the fourth, right? So we have this number multiplied 10 to the fourth, which is equal to the same number, the same number. I'm going to paste this again. The same number multiplied by 2 times 
5 to the 4th, right? Because like, I'm literally I'm just rewriting this is equal to this. This is equal to this, okay? I'm just rewriting that. And then this is equal to 2 to the 4th times 5 to the 4th, right? Okay, so essentially is that if as long as we count the number of times we divide by 5, we get our answer, okay? So in the... Um, Instead of evaluating 20 factorial and then doing the number of times um, doing all this stuff, right? What we could do is uh, we could loop through from 20 and then going down to 1. And then we just add up how many times uh, we're dividing by 5. Okay? Keep dividing by 5, add up how, how many times that happens. And then that should give, give us an answer. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to essentially just um, split all the numbers in 20 factorial so I wrote down all the 20 factorial and I'm just gonna try to split them into powers of 5 and 2 and then I'll maybe you'll, you guys see the pattern for that so 20 is um, 5 times 4 right 20 is 5 times 4 which is 5 times 2 square right 19 is just 19 18 is um, 9 times 2 right 9 times 2 that's what 18 is 17, we leave 17. 16 is 2 to the 4th power, right? 16 is 2 to the 4th power. 15 is 5 times 3, right? 15 is 5 times 3. 14 is 2 times 7. 14 is 2 times 7. Um, 13 is, what is 13? 13 is just 13. 12 is 2 times, uh, 12 is 4 times 3, which is 3 times 2 squared, right? 4 times 3 is 12, right? Which is a 3 times 2 squared. So what I'm doing is I'm just rewriting all the powers. Rewriting all the numbers in powers of 2 and 5, okay? Uh, yeah. And then, yeah, so we're around 12. And then we have 11, which is times 11, times 11. 10 is 2 times 5, which is just, I'll just 5 times 2. Here, 10 is 5 times 2. 9 is 3 times 3. Um, actually, I'll just leave 9 as it, as it is, because you can't really do anything there. Um, 8 is 2 to the 3rd. Right, two, four, 2 times 4 times 2 is 8. Yep. 7 is just 7. 6 is 3 times 2. Um, 5 is just 5. 4 is 2 squared. Uh, 3 is just 3. And then 2 is 2. And then we have 1. Okay. So then that, now let's just count how many 2s, powers of 2s, and t powers of 5s we could have. Right? How many powers of 2s? Powers of 5s. So if I just go here and just count how many powers of 2s and powers of 5s, I should be able to get my answer. Okay, so we have 1 power 5, 1, 2, so there's two fives, um, 3, 4. There's four fives, there's four fives, so there's four fives, so 5 to the 4th. How many powers of 2s do I have? Well, we have uh, 2 to the 2, right? So 2 to the 2. So we have 2 to the 2, and then we have two to the, uh, just 2 also. So 2 to the 2 times 2 is 2 to the 3 times 2. Okay, okay, I'll just write them all out down because this is really hard to count them in my head. So I have this one, right? 2 to 2. And then I have this one. It's 2 times 2. Uh, I have this one. 2 to the 4th. I have this one. It's 2. Um, I have this one. 2 to the 2nd. I have this one. Right, I have this 2 also. This 2. Um, I have this one. This 2. 2 to the 3rd. I have this 2, which is, this is 1, 2. I uh, have this 2, 2 to the 2nd. And I have this 2. Okay, I think I listed out most of the powers of 2s and the power of 5s. The rest we don't have to care about because, like, who cares about the rest of the numbers, right? We, we're mostly focusing on, like, powers of 5s and 2s because that's how you make 10, right? Okay, so then now that we have that, um, yeah, now that we have that, let's just add up all the number of the powers of 2s make this more simplified. So this is equal to 5 to the 4th times um, 2 times 2 plus 1 is, let's just add up all the powers. So 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. 10 plus 1 is 11. 11 plus 3 is 14. 14 plus 1 is 15. 15 plus 2 is 17. 17 plus 1 is 18. So it is 2 to the 18th. Okay, so as you could see here, in the end here, after evaluating, doing all the primes, um, 
listing the powers of twos and fives, we got five to the fourth times two to the eighteenth. Okay. So if we go back to like the original number, oh whoops, not this one. Go back to the original number of this, it only had four trailing zeros, right? It only had four trailing zeros. So essentially is is that um, no matter how many twos you have, the rest of these twos don't matter, right? Because in order to make ten, in order to make ten is that we need fives, right? You have to pair a five with a two, right? So essentially it is, it's just like the maximum number of fives you could have because the twos don't matter because without the fives, um, without the, yeah, without the fives, you can't really do anything. You can't pair them up, right? So essentially all we have to do is find the number of fives that is divisible by this power. And then we'll just get, um, we'll just get like, uh, essentially we just get the answer, right? Five to the fourth, okay? So just keep dividing by five, and then while you keep dividing by five, uh, just add them up, and then uh, you'll get your answer. That'll be the answer, especially the number of zeros you have. So yeah, um, I can show you what I wrote for the code for mine. It's a little difficult to understand. Um, actually, it's not that difficult. Okay, so essentially, is we, we need to find the number of uh, powers of fives, right? Powers of fives. So what I did was I created a counter here. Counter is equal to zero. And I start my count from equal to five, right? And every time through this loop, I'm gonna multiply by five, right? Because then I'll get like five to the first power, five to the second, five to the third, five to the fourth, five to the fifth, right? So on and so forth, right? And then uh, what I'm doing is I'm just taking my number and dividing it by this number of uh, my counter of i of i, right? So essentially, it's I'm taking my current number and I just keep dividing it by powers of fives. That's what I'm doing here. Okay, and then I'm just adding it up with my counter. So as long as we keep adding up, uh, keep dividing it by powers of fives and adding it up, that'll get our answer. And I do this while uh, n divided by i is greater than or equal to one. So while um, it's still it's not zero, but essentially like while it's greater than or equal to one, yeah. So while my number is like repeatedly greater than or equal to one, I'm just gonna keep dividing it by it up powers of fives and then keep adding it up to my counter and yeah, I just print it out. So yeah, that's pretty much the gist of this problem. I hope you guys understand what's going on. Um, here we have main, which is reading in the number n, and that's called solve of n, and then it just keeps doing like powers of fives, adding those things up. While well, I divide by my number of n of powers of fives, right here, and yeah, multiply by five. But yeah, this is a way to do it. Um, there's other ways to do it. You could probably figure there are other ways to do it. Um, but yeah, essentially just powers of fives and figuring that out. Yeah, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.